Time now to connect the dots when we make the news make sense. Since 2020, visits to the ER for firearm related injuries have gone down, but it's still much higher in the U.S. than it used to be. Why are so many people getting hurt by guns? Let's connect the dots. A new study from the CDC shows as COVID cases rose in the U.S., so did injuries from firearms. The sharpest increase happening the week when George Floyd was killed by four Minneapolis police officers. During the pandemic, murders and suicides using guns were at their highest rates since the early 90s. In the years since, we've seen slight declines in ER visits from guns, but we're still seeing 20% more than we did back in 2019. Most of the 1,100 hurt each week were young men between the ages of 15 and 24 years old. But researchers found a significant number of younger kids hospitalized as well. They say disruptions to daily routines and schooling may have influenced their risk of injury. The CDC now using this data to help drive community-based strategies like street outreach programs and conflict de-escalation to reduce violence. And that is Connecting the Dots.